Hi, Bobcats. This video explores the Lewis dot structures of main group atoms. Our objective is to draw Lewis dot structures for these main group elements. Lewis dot structures are representations of the bonding between elements in compounds. We're going to use uh, dots to represent the valence electrons and they will generally be grouped in pairs. So um, sometimes it's more convenient to show bonding electrons as a line. Um, and so one line is equivalent to two dots. Um, the dots are always shown when we're talking about something called lone pairs, which are uh, pairs of electrons that are not bonded. They exist just on a single atom. And they're very useful for showing us um, in making predictions about what atom will be connected to what other atom when various atoms form a compound. And the whole idea here is based on the octet rule. Um, so it works best for main group elements as we're going to fill their valence shell with eight electrons, two in the S subshell and six in the P subshell. So here's how you would draw the uh, Lewis dot structures for some of these main group atoms. First of all, we have to figure out how many valence electrons they have. For main group elements, the number of valence electrons is equal to the last digit of the group number. You can find aluminum, which is atomic number 13, coincidentally in group number 13. So aluminum has three valence electrons. And so we'll take those electrons and draw them, um, one on each side of aluminum. For carbon, which is in group 14, there are four valence electrons. And so we'll draw the um, electrons as one on each side. So we start this process with the valence electrons by putting one on each side. Um, at most, we can put two on a side, but we don't start pairing them up until each side has a single electron. Oxygen is in group number 16, so it has uh, six valence electrons. So we can start putting those six electrons around the oxygen. Um, once we've placed four, we, have, um, we still have to put another two. And so now we'll have to start pairing them up. So I'll put a pair on the top and a pair over on the right side. It really doesn't matter where we put the pairs versus the single electrons. Um, but no matter how you write it for oxygen, there should be two pairs of electrons and also two single electrons. For our last example, let's look at fluorine. It's in group number 17, so it has seven valence electrons. So if we draw these in, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So fluorine will have um, three pairs and one single electron. The most number, the largest number of valence electrons that we can have is eight, and then um, we would distribute those as two dots per side. This table shows the Lewis dot structures for all of the, the main group elements. Um, notice that within a group Group, the Lewis dot structures look exactly the same because within a group you have the same number of valence electrons and they range from left to right here from one valence electron all the way up to eight valence electrons. To wrap up, our objective was to draw the Lewis dot structures for neutral main group atoms.